How about those birds, man? First of all, first of all, just want to say, I want to send my thoughts and prayers out to Jordan Love. Um, that was very unfortunate how it went down, and you just hate to see that for any quarterback, even if it's a division rival or whatever. And it was like the last few seconds remaining in regulation. Um, it, it, it just really sucks, bro, and I'm sorry it's really come to that. Um, some people aren't, you know, very happy. As a matter of fact, they hold some hate, you know, animosity and everything towards, <clears throat> excuse me, sorry, been drinking. But, um, yeah, towards uh, Jalen Carter and everything, um, some people were saying that, I'm not going to point any names, but he was saying it was like a dirty play and everything. Uh, it was like a dirty hit. But now I, I'm, I'm not going to be biased when I say this. And I know Jalen uh, Jalen Carter might have had like a few like reckless moments and everything. But I don't really think it was dirty, though. If it was dirty, I would definitely call it out. Like, come on, like I've done it when... Derek Barnett had his moments, and I and I called it out. You feel me? I called it out. I told him he needs to get his shit together. You need to, like, like, come on. Like, get it together. But from what I've seen the play when Jordan Love went down, it looks like that he he was in the middle of trying to take it down because, the, like, you need, to, you need to look at the refs. He could have called the play dead. But since the call wasn't dead, you know, they continued trying to tackle him. So... It's like Jalen Carter was like trying to twist his twist like his body to like tackle him to take him down. I don't know who was the other player that like also hit him or whatnot, but that right there was like the most awkward landing right there. I don't know if that was I don't know if that was Josh Sweat or whoever was like number nine. Not he wasn't not number nine, but it had it had a nine on his jersey. I couldn't get the clear name though. Um Maybe I'll find out later on. I don't know. But let me just say uh, my thoughts and prayers to Jordan Love, man. It's like I say, you hate to see it for anybody. And anybody that's celebrating that is is a scumbag. And I I, I heard that uh, Bears fans are celebrating it. And, yeah, I don't think that's cool at all. I'm a firm believer in karma. And I wouldn't want, I wouldn't want anything to happen to my quarterback, especially, like, make it fun or anything. So I would never do that to anyone else's quarterback. So, um Anyway, man, just want to send my thoughts and prayers. So there's that, and yeah, it, it, it was a hard for uh, it was a hard for battle by both teams. Um, I did say the Packers are a legit team; they are a legit team, and uh, there were some scary moments. Like I think the Packers could have even put up more points. Some some penalties really did hurt them. It really did hurt them. Um, you know, they missed some passes. That could have been caught, you know, and it, and it benefit us. I mean, there were some moments that the Eagles also, um, there were some penalties that were called back, and you know, it, it you know kind of went both ways. But Packers, man, they they really had plenty of crucial penalties, especially the one touchdown that was called back. Thank God that was called back, but still. Um, but yeah, man. But yeah. Saquon Barkley, I'll never understand. I'll never understand how the Giants just let him go like that. And I just, I just want to say, I just want to say, thank you, Giants. Shout out to the Giants, man. Shout out to the Giants for sending us Saquon. You know, th thanks for Saquon, man. Like for real, because he really balled out. He really balled out this game. Now there was a moment that I was really, really pissed during um. You know, when 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 Jalen Hurst threw that one interception, we was like at the ten yard line, about to score and everything. Saquon was cooking and everything. He was eating, getting the yards, moving the ball and everything. And we just stopped running the ball, bro. I was so pissed. Like I said, even if we win, like it's still like it's still the principle. Like why the freak would you? I'm trying my best not to curse, but it's like, bro. Like if if I had like. If I had like one of those sw uh, swear jars and not decide to pay myself 20 bucks each time I curse, I would fail miserably with the Philadelphia Eagles because there were some moments that just legit like pissed me off. But um, maybe five bucks because <laughs> I cursed a little too much. But anyway, um, but yeah, it really pissed me off because it just reminds me too much of what happened when we went against the Jets last year. 
the ball the ball wasn't like the game was in our hands you know he was moving the ball we could have extended the lead but Hurst threw that interception it was a terrible play call everything he threw, threw that interception and the Jets ended up scoring just like that that could have been with the Packers you feel me like that could have been with the Packers so I, I I'm just happy we didn't repeat that but um I did say the Packers are de is definitely going to be one of the toughest teams that we go against. And uh, I'm just, like, really pissed that we went against them so, like, early, like, first week of the season. I'm, I'm, I'm pissed because I, I'd rather go against them, like, at least midseason in or later on. Because I feel like, yeah, the best teams, you know, you get the best of them. Like, you, you want to know, like, the, to be the best team, you got to beat the best team. But, um... But hey, man, uh, we may see them in the playoffs, though. So we may see them in the playoffs. But anyway, man, shout out to Saquon Barkley, man. He ate this game. He just hit 100 yards, two receiving, no, two rushing touchdowns and one receiving touchdown. Shout out to him. I think he deserved the game ball as far as the offense go. Uh, uh, AJ Brown cooked as well. Him, Devontae Smith, they all like we just we all just played like a team. I've seen Grant Cockatero get in, like, i never seen Grant Cockatero get this involved with the game. Like, he really looked good out there. He looked good out there. He looked good out there. Um, Give me one second. Hey, uh, listen, I'm making a video. Let me call you right back, all right? All right, bro. All right. I meant to say, I actually meant to say, um, you know, it's a Giants. I'm not going to say his name. That would be Doxon. But uh, anyway, um, but yeah, it's, where was I? <clears throat> but AJ Brown had a great game. Devontae Smith, Grant Calcaterra, you know, Dallas Goddard. We won as a team. We really did win as a team. There was a big difference with the offensive line, though. I did say it may not be the same without uh, Jason Kelsey, you know, with Cam Jurgens. He kind of concerns me a bit. He really does concern me a bit um, with him, um, you know, botching some of the snaps and everything. That one, that one crucial fumble in the second drive of the game really like it really had me like concerned. There was that, the 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 field condition, so much. But thank God, you know, the Eagles will be coming. I believe they're coming back in town. Whether we go back in town or we go to Atlanta, um, it's like both fields are pretty damn good. So. Not much concern there, unless if we were raining, or, unless if it was raining or whatever. I don't know, but I'm just so happy, man. That I did say, go to Brazil, get that win, even if it's sloppy, and let's get out of there. And that's what we did. We went there, got the win. Eagles definitely deserve a few days off, but it's time to get back to work because there were some mistakes that we've seen on there that really hurt. That 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 really could have hurt us. You feel me? You still got to work on the play calling. Hurts threw a few interceptions that was very, like, uncalled for. You know, we're passing at times when he should have been running the ball. That still really pissed me off right there because it's such a Philly thing to really keep the opposing team and, um, you know, give them hope and everything. It's it's ridiculous. Like, we really – like, if we're going to be very competitive in a, in a, later on in the season, we have to do better. And play calling but i will say it was 10 times better than last season without a doubt kellen moore definitely i mean it's his first ever game um coaching you know calling plays as a philadelphia eagle so i guess i can't be too mad but in the end it was but an instant reaction and yeah i was pissed i was pretty pissed but it's how a real fan feels in the end um what else i was gonna say man uh Man, Zach Baum definitely deserves, I would say him or Reed Blankenship. But Zach Baum really balled out. He really did ball out. He's definitely a stud. He's, he's looked like he's earned his starting position, honestly. So, uh, yeah, man. Zach Baum really balled out, man. That's, that's crazy. He really balled out um, this game. Um, and Devin White... Him getting hurt soon after he finds out that Zach Bone and um uh what's his name? What's what's the other guy's name? 
Nicobe Dean. Nicobe Dean was another one that actually had a pretty good game too. He was another one. Um, yeah, but I just think the timing is just too, a little too interesting that you know Devin White is all of a sudden hurt. You know, he's hurt after he finds out that he's not going to be starting. It's not a good look. My, I mean, I, I really hope that's not the case. I want to give him the benefit of the doubt. Um, what else are we talking, man? Uh, CJ Gardner Johnson, I believe he went down uh, with an injury. Uh, I really hope he's okay. Quinn Mitchell, um, he had an okay game. You no, know, there was some good. There was some good um, signs that you know he may have a promising future, or without a doubt. But there were times where he also held him as well, and you can't be doing that. Oh, Reed Blankenship, second candidate, definitely for a game ball. Shout out to him. Um, wow. He read he read the play so well through that interception, and I felt like that really restored our momentum as far as keeping the game alive. Because the Packers were just moving that ball. It's like every at one point, every time they had the ball, they just scored just like that. But thank God that the Eagles never gave up. If it's one thing the Eagles are always good in, besides that collapse, is that the Eagles are well good in um overcoming diversity you feel me um especially jalen hurts man he may have thrown about two or three interceptions but he really like he never gave up he kept playing and just just love to see it love to see it so anyway man hopefully we you know we go back to philly that's such a that's a good feeling going back to philly with a w the eagles official home game even though a lot of eagles fans did show up but i also saw few texas fans i saw steelers fan i even saw a washington fan <laughs> at the stadium you know live at the stadium i wasn't there myself but anyway it was a good w a great w a hard for w and shout out to the packers and once again i am sorry about um jordan love man i really i want to wish him a speedy recovery anybody that's chairing an injury you you're a freaking scumbag and we definitely don't need you here um anyway though uh man I, I don't know if there's anything else for me to say other than um hit that like button hit that subscribe and until next time as always go birds and yeah it's on to the falcons um it's very unfortunate what happened to the packers man i know it's part of the sport but in the end just going through it really does suck hopefully he will be okay though all right i'm out of here you guys I'll catch y'all on the next one. Y'all be safe. Enjoy y'all weekend. 1-0, and baby. 1-0.